When you think back to the year 2015, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Maybe the content creators around that time, or some of the Vine Bro, stars. What was going on in 2015? I think I can really remember 20, 2015. It's like Fetty Wap. Um, oh, I don't really, really remember Apple anything. Yeah, I was like me, in fifth or sixth grade. I remember being in homeroom during my senior year of high school and having my friend Josh right, spam the same shit. sentence over and over and over again. Oh, Bro. my son came in the mail today. These nuts. <laughs> Probably my mama beat my ass just because I said that shit, bro. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> We used to say that shit all the time, bro. The D's nuts. No, we're coming to Maryland today. D's nuts. People during my final year of high school, and everyone and their mom was saying the sentence over and over again. It's been seven years since the historical video came out, and the other day I got to thinking, what happened to the D's nuts guy, and who was he? From becoming an overnight. This is all nigga that looked like him too, bro. He's a kind of nigga. <laughs> of his own death, Welvin's life after the viral meme has seen its ups and downs, and today on the channel we will look at what has happened to Welvin over the past seven years after he went mega viral upon releasing the D's Nuts video in March of 2015. Now just like every story, Melvin's claim to fame had a beginning. Before Melvin went viral for his D's Nuts video, he was uploading pictures and videos onto his Instagram account while he was at work. It took four years but these videos started to take on a life of their own and eventually he stumbled upon a situation that would change the course of his life forever. Again, after uploading videos for four years straight, Melvin finally caught his big break when the Instagram model Drea Michelle uploaded I one of his skins to her Instagram account. This was the video that she uploaded to her account. I'm gonna say you ain't got no bitches. Who don't got no bitch? He said, he said, don't. Ain't gonna lie, bro. He look like high snacks, like a, he like this nigga probably costing that dad. Hold up. I could press that nigga like, hey nigga, I do got more bitches than you with your ugly ass. Later on, Melvin and his manager, Lefty, were invited onto DJ Vlad's channel for an interview. During the interview, Melvin's manager talked about how that one shout out from Drea boosted Welvin's account. Welvin only had an Instagram following of six followers, but Lefty told Vlad during the interview that after the shout out from Drea, Welvin's account took off, gaining thousands of followers every hour. And in just two months, Welvin the Great was close to securing 1 million followers on Instagram. But when Drea posted him, it was like a frenzy. You know, she got three in that. What, 3.5 million I still see people videos. Yeah. I think I see a recent video, like like he was homeless, like on, on the streets and shit. Had 20,000 likes, 11,000 comments in 28 minutes. And we 11, watched thousand comments. We watched it go from six followers and we just kept refreshing. And by the end of the night, he was at 12K. <laughs> we woke up like next morning, he was at 43K. It just got crazier and crazier. It just kept growing. How many Instagram followers you got right now? Uh, 902,000. Oh, so you write about, you write about, about a million. Throughout those two months, Melvin couldn't miss. The D's Nuts video I came out and went extremely viral. Around. He walks around Cali. 45 million views on his YouTube channel and garnered attention anywhere else it was uploaded. Welvin grew his celebrity following as well with Kevin Hart, Kendrick Lamar, and DJ Khaled just to name a few celebrities that he started to interact with and take pictures with. Welvin was so big at one point that Kendrick Lamar paid tribute to Welvin in a Taylor Swift music video called Bad Blood. Kendrick Lamar also that year would bring Welvin onto the stage during one of his shows. Now, after a couple months of being viral from the D's Nuts video, Welvin was reaching his peak, and personally for me, I feel like his manager, Lefty, knew this as well. During the initial interview with DJ Vlad, Lefty talked about the merch that was on its way out, and his hopefulness that Welvin was eventually in line for his own reality TV show. So much so that Lefty created a series on Welvin's YouTube account called The Life of Welvin the Great that ran for 17 episodes. But during these interviews, things seemed a little bit off with the manager. Lefty seemed like he was in it all for the money, and could take advantage advantage of Welvin whenever he pleased. Multiple times throughout the interview, Lefty spoke about the money and the sponsorships that they were receiving from companies that wanted to pay Welvin because of his huge following on Instagram. But it seemed like after Welvin got hacked and lost his footing, Lefty took off. Then a lot of negatives were starting to pop up. Welvin Damn. was accused of essaying multiple women at a party, and this was right at the beginning of his blow up. I couldn't find any articles on the incident, but during that same interview with DJ Vlad, Lefty and Welvin talked about the situation and how that never even happened. Now, I remember there was a, a rumor, I think, like after that night at the open mic that you got arrested or oh, something no. like that. Well, clear that up. I, I didn't get arrested. He, he, he never been arrested. Never, it was from some site we've never even heard of. And the crazy thing is, 
he was posting pictures at the time the story was coming out and his last name isn't Harris. So okay. that was like, and then I, I highly doubt a detective would ever describe him as a no bitch getting chump. Just on <laughs> <laughs> Too believable, but I mean, uh, uh, after nine hundred thousand followers in exactly two months, I, I probably I have haters too. So, so that was just some hater shit, cause yeah. you know, cause it started to circulate. It's, it's spreading. Cause that I was, enough. cause I was like, cause I looked at, it, I said, oh shit, I was just there, I was just with him, yeah. and now he got arrested. Like, when did this happen? I haven't been arrested. No, so all that is bullshit. Yeah. Now, even though these rumors ended up being false, that could have still impacted his career and the path that he chose moving forward. But the meme was dying, and even though it was said nonstop, the person behind the meme ended up losing some of his popularity. Up until the 2016 election, when an independent candidate generated some buzz. An Iowa kid by the name of Brady filed to run for president under the name D's Nuts. This once again generated some attention back towards Welvin and his brand. This incident would even be captured on the news. A lesser known independent's name is taking the internet by storm, and that name would be. Dun, 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 D's nuts. Yep, you heard me right. He is gaining traction in North Carolina with. Niggas are voting for him? 9% of voters saying they'd vote for him. Wow. In a hypothetical race Whoa. between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, he would get 9%. But then disaster happened. Welvin's original Instagram account was hacked at the end of the summer of 2016, which saw him lose his account with over 1.1 million followers. And even though he eventually created a new account, his new Instagram account hasn't even generated over 150,000 followers, and it's been almost six years since he created it. This tells me two things. The first is that Welvin wasn't as relevant as he thought he was, which is why only 10% of his original 1 million followers followed his new account. And number two is the hype surrounding Welvin and his comedy was starting to run its course. And with a very slow process to build back up his Instagram following, it seemed like out of nowhere, Welvin went from being an overnight success, getting paid almost $5,000 to show up to an event, to being a nobody that was forgotten about. And that was due to his account being hacked. Now, ever since 2016, after he went on a run of uploading like memeable content, Welvin has pretty much been forgotten about. The only time he was mentioned was when rumors circulated online stating that Welvin passed away. These rumors were brought to light because of a video that surfaced online that appeared to be Welvin unresponsive laying on the ground. I think I remember seeing this one too. The rumors were of course proven to be false and Welvin and his cousin uploaded a video to his YouTube account speaking about the rumors that have been brought up over the years. I'm alive and I'm okay. And I wish that these blogs would stop with all these rumors about Welvin being dead. He is very much alive and well. Welvin has a family that loves and care about him. Um, he hasn't had any dealings with Lefty in a, in a, lot of, in a long time. So. You know, I wish all these women would stop, and I wish you guys would just leave Welvin alone, stop bullying him on these streets, just, you know, let him live the life that he want to live. Welvin is, he has a family that loves and wants to take care of him, but Welvin chooses to go off for days at a time. He has a home to come to. He comes home, he rests for a couple of days, he go back out in the street. There's nothing nobody can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. We don't want that for him, but this is something that he wants to do. So yeah, he, he wants all to be these free, rumors told about you. him being dead. My cousin is right here. He's alive and well. He's, He's like very Luffy. much loved. And Bro, what? We coming head first behind him. And um, stop saying that he was taking advantage. I saw him yesterday, bro, and was benching 150 on a warm up. Like, you dead ass? You seen him yesterday? Bro, if I seen him, I would have took a picture. Loved by his management, and Lefty did this, and Lefty did that. Lefty ain't did shit, but love Welvin. So just stop it, please. Once freedom. It's good to note that this video titled Stop the Rumors was uploaded five years after his last video on his YouTube account. But even though he was alive, there have been many videos of him struggling to maintain a healthy lifestyle and even more videos of him being beaten up or jumped. And for some reason, people thought it was okay to jump Welvin at his most vulnerable state. While doing my research, I stumbled upon a new Welvin channel. I'm not 100% sure that this account is owned by Welvin, but going through some of his shorts, he does address his behavior Behavior and how he's been living. During this short that was uploaded in May of 2022, Welvin states that he isn't dead, but that he has been drinking way too much and that he has to slow down. I'm not dead. I'm not sleeping on the street. 
I drink too much and I pass out. And I don't like when people record me while I pass out on the ground somewhere. So I'm not dead. I'm not sleeping on the street. I just drink too much. Rover got dripped. <laughs> Like a show doo And in the description of this channel, it gives hey, you the name of the TikTok account. And a quick search on TikTok will send you to his account, which is pretty much the same thing. But this account generated over 100,000 followers. But his Nigga TikToks boss, just seem fuck very fuck them jeans. A lot of his TikToks <laughs> are just him struggling to say his three catchphrases. And it seems like he's either very drunk during these videos or is off something which is very sad to say. But in the bio of his account, I mean, he's doing decent on TikTok. Managed by someone named Nicole Visual. And this all comes back full circle. Now, the main reason why I even remembered Welvin was because of this video titled, We Got Attacked in LA. Hey, 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 Oh, it's good. He does paid videos. How much is it? Yeah, I remember seeing this bit, this, this clip right here. All right, bro. See ya. No, no, that's okay. I just didn't know. I was gonna give him money. I just wanted you to tell me how much. I just want. Oh hell no! Nah. Hell no! Nah. Oh shit! Look at, look at, look at, look at. These nuts! <laughs> this video received 1.5 million views, and during this video, the guy that's recording finds Welvin on the side of the street, hanging out with a lady who states that she is his manager. Of course, this content creator bothers Welvin and eventually gets chased by him because Welvin says that he has pepper spray. But I think the discovery of Nicole being his manager has left me with even more questions than answers. Like, what happened to Lefty? And did he actually steal all of Welvin's money, like the comments have stated? And if so, why hasn't Welvin spoken out about it? Sadly, Welvin is an example of how if you don't have the right people in your corner and rooting for you, you can lose everything in a blink of an eye. Welvin was a talent, but has been harassed nonstop by people who try to bully him for the way he looks or for the situation that he's in. Welvin needs a mentor that can either persuade him to leave the streets of LA or he has to leave California in pursuit of a better life with less of a party scene. I also feel like people forget that there's an actual human being behind the meme. So even though the meme will live on for years, the person who popularized it, in this case being Welvin, he has been left to deal with his own paths of life. And a lot of these people that make memes end up with their life being ruined. But how do you feel about Welvin and what has happened to him in just a couple years after being forgotten? Let me know in the comments below. But this has been the end of the video. If you want to send me suggestions on the next creator I should look at, the best way to do so is through my Instagram or by joining yeah, my this, Discord nigga, server. Oh Both will be linked in the comments right below. This. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right.